This video does not intend to insult or hurt the feelings of Muslims, but its purpose is to show that apostates are human who have feelings and must be given the right to express themselves against their former religion without fear of facing persecution or harm. This video does not intend to hurt the feelings of Muslims or insult the Muslims, but its purpose is to reveal the truth and expose the wicked lie. Be they religious figures like uh, Prophet Muhammad, About forbidding what Allah has made lawful. Quran Ayats Surah 5 verse 87 O ye who believe, forbid not the good things which Allah hath made lawful for you, and transgress not. Lo, Allah loveth not transgressors. Puya slash Ali commentary on uh, Surah 5 verse 87 Islam does not allow to forbid the good things Allah has made lawful. Aka Mahdi Puya says, So forbidding anything allowed by Allah and his prophet is transgression because either forbidding the lawful or allowing the forbidden amounts to breaking the bounds of the divine law. Surah Tahrim Ayah 1 O Prophet, why do you prohibit yourself from what Allah has made lawful for you, seeking the approval of your wives? And Allah is forgiving and merciful. Now comparing both ayahs, Surah Maida, Ayah 87 and Surah Tahrim, Ayah 1, with the commentary of Puya Ali commentary, uh, we can see that Prophet Muhammad becomes a transgressor himself. So Surah Tahrim Ayat makes the Prophet a transgressor when comparing it to Surah Maida, Ayah 87. Having established this and going to Surah Saf, Ayat uh, 2 and 3, we find out here that Allah greatly hates those who say things and then do not do them. Surah Saf, Ayat 2. O you who believe, why do you say things then do not do them? Surah Saf Ayat 3 It is most hateful to God that you say things and then do not do them. Now taking Surah Maida Ayat 87 and uh, Surah Tahrim Ayat 1 and comparing it with Surah Saf Ayats uh, 2 and 3. We see in Surah Maida Ayat 87 he tells the believers, Do not forbid the good things which Allah has made lawful for you. And then he himself in Surah Tari, Ayat 1, uh, prohibits himself what Allah has made lawful for him. So, taking Surah Safayat, it would uh, come to that he has uh, said uh, things which he does not do himself. Uh, verse 2 of Surah Saf. And then it is most hateful to God that you say things and then do not do them. Yourselves meaning. Third ayat of Surah Saf. 